And then before and after Cirque du Soleil, because you've been to 42 countries, uh, yeah. have, do you travel to yourself primarily to those or do you always have a partner or a group of friends that you go with? I'm a very solo traveler, like so solo traveler. Like I, I like to go and visit people for a predetermined amount of time, but I'm You're very scared. I mean, I don't think that I've been in I haven't been in countries that I would that I would classify as quite dangerous, especially for like a female solo traveler. Like I never was in that environment, but I also was traveling. I, I once you start traveling and you become very good at it, and, and you've been traveling for a while, I feel like your your intuition leads the way, and your I think you're you're able to really lead through intuition and just really thrive in those environments. You know, when I was not moving, that's when I was like, oh, okay, I need to get moving again. After a couple of months, I'd be dying to go. So yeah, I, I, I was traveling always by myself, but, but visiting people that I knew in all the places. And, uh, you know, my father's French and my mother, she's from New Zealand. I was born in New Zealand. So I, I had a very multicultural upbringing and we were always traveling early on. So it's almost in my blood. I, I say sometimes, you know, I, I was born traveling in a way. So it's not like I, would, I never traveled and then all of a sudden I traveled. It was just always part of who I was as a person.